Let me now get you the latest from the Rameshwaram Cafe Blast in Bengaluru. Top sources have told India today that the blast was triggered by a timer device and that timer device has been recovered from the blast site. Not just the timer device but even a battery or portions of a battery, nuts and bolts used to cause maximum casualties have also been recovered by the forensic team. We've been told that a team of the National Investigation Agency and the National Security Guard, National Bomb Data Center are on their way to Bengaluru. There's also some information about the suspect. Police say the suspect, the person who planted the improvised explosive device was between 28 and 30 years old. This is information that they've been able to glean from CCTV cameras, not just at the Rameshwaram Cafe, but also in the area. Now, the, uh, the suspect came to the Rameshwaram Cafe, took a coupon, ordered Rava Idli. But instead of collecting his food and eating that food at the cafe, he placed that bag, which apparently had the improvised explosive device, at a location where it would cause maximum damage and left. India today has accessed that CCTV footage. I want you to see that CCTV footage as we quickly cut across to DK Shivkumar, the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka. And let's also listen in to G. Parmeshwar, the State Home Minister, on the investigation so far. See, let them do whatever allegation. It is not the allegation. We are looking at the image of Karnataka. And even at the 2020 also, you know what happened in Shumaga, what happened in 22, what happened in Mangalore. Similar things have happened. I don't want to blame anyone here. Who are in power? For us, for us, the image of Karnataka we will not, will not leave. We will see that we will nab the culprits. So this has happened under your uh, watchful eyes, sir. What do you have to talk about the security situation of Bangalore that houses over a crore people, sir? No, it is uh, unfortunate. Uh, we are trying to make Bangalore a safe city. Uh, and somebody is trying to do nasty things like this. Definitely uh, people are concerned. But I can assure them that we will take all precautions, all necessary steps to to find who this person is and we will uh, bring him to books uh, as early as possible. So the Deputy Chief Minister has stated that he'll be tracked in just a few hours. Yeah, but that's what this, you know, we are trying to do. Mm. But, you know, after looking at the CCTV footages where the person is there, all this identification. <laughs> We want to cut across to India today. Sagai Raj joining us live from Bengaluru for more on the story. Sagai Raj, what more information do we have of this accused who is suspected to be between 28 and 30 years old? What more do we know? The police had the lead on uh, this particular accused. He had come in the bus. He was uh, wearing a mask and later on he went to the restaurant, uh, bought a token and uh, uh, took Rava Idli, but he didn't eat. He left the bag and the Rava Idli at the same place and uh, left the place. Gaurav, do you remember? We had reported a story in the month of July last year and uh, we had mentioned that uh, the sleeper cells are active in the state of Karnataka and they had uh, planned to uh, uh, plan to plant these kind of IEDs in public places like okay. uh, a crowded uh, restaurant, crowded bus stop or any other public places so to ensure that uh, the people are, uh, the people should live in apprehension. So probably that is one of those plans which has been executed now in the city of Bengaluru where the the terrorists uh, accused are uh, trying to uh, plant these kind of IEDs. And Sagai Raj, what is the, the clarity sleeper cells Mangalore? of which organization? Who are suspects? Any, any, or is it too premature to know? So far, uh, the cops have not disclosed that. Even the police are unaware. Once they trace this particular accused, probably they will get to know who are these sleeper cells uh, who are active in the state of Karnataka. And even nobody came forward to claim on uh, this particular blast in the city of uh, Bengaluru.
probably once the police nab that accused we'll get to know which organization he belongs to where is he from but what we get to learn through our sources is that uh, there's a similar kind of module which was implemented in manglo remember mohammed uh, sharik yes. he was arrested he had a cooker blast in a running auto and yes. a similar kind of explosion was used a similar kind of module and probably uh, the police are trying to check with uh, the, the the investigation officer who have done the investigation in that particular case along with this and try to join the dots and find out what is the connection and what kind of uh, what kind of the uh, intention was there behind this particular blast keep tracking that story sagai raj i will come back to you for more for the moment many thanks